What's up everyone? This is Andrew here with Spark Finance and let's talk about day trading. So what is day trading, right? So day trading is basically when you're buying or selling a security over the course of a day to make a profit on the price fluctuations during the course of the day. So a stock will have a high stock price for the day and it will have a low stock price for the day and there's a spread between those two numbers. A day trader tries to make money by making trades throughout the day as the stock moves between those two numbers. So is day trading a viable strategy for an investor? Should you start day trading? Well, the short answer is no, you should not. Day trading is not a good idea. Okay, we're gonna go through in this video some of the differences of, of why day, tra day trading is not a good idea. We'll go look at the, the studies that were done. We'll look at all the cons that go on with day trading. We'll also show some of the pros that go with day trading. And then let's look at some of the alternatives you can do if you wanna start investing, but you don't know where to begin, okay? So let's start off with these studies that were done. One of the largest studies that is referenced in dealing with day trading is a 1995 to 1999 study in Taiwan that looked at day traders and how successful they were. Well, it turns out they weren't very successful. Eight in 10 or 80% of the day traders actually ended up losing money. Well, that's not a good sign. Why would you wanna go into a field or an idea or a strategy where 80% of the people lose money? This is not, this is not a challenge that you should try and attain because you know you think you can be part of that 20% or less that actually make money. This is something about risk and return. A lot of people think the idea of day trading sounds good because, okay, if there's a, there's a risk, right? There's a lot of risk, but maybe I can get that big reward. I can make thousands of dollars a day. But the studies and the practicality of it show that that is not the normal case. And that is very unlikely scenario, especially for new investors. So you might say that that study, okay, that study is old, right? That came out a while ago. Well, there were also studies in 2000, in 2003, in 2011. None of them showed that day trading would be an effective strategy. Most of them showed how terrible it ended up being for the people that were doing it. If you look at most of them, they say more than twice as many day traders lose money as make money. So that's not a good sign right there. I'll put some of the links in the description of those different studies so you can actually look at the full details of them if you're so inclined. So going on to the next part of this, right? What is it that makes the, the cons for day trading? Why is it bad, right? So day trading, you don't really care what the underlying asset is. You don't care what stock you're getting. You don't care who the CEO is, what their accounting is, their balance sheet looks like. All you care about is looking at technical analysis on a chart and seeing on hourly or minute windows how you can make money in the stock on a given day. That's gambling, right? If I go to a casino and I and I put money on black or red, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just guessing there. And a lot of day trading, if there are professionals that can't figure out the price of a stock in the next quarter or a year from now, it's very difficult for an individual to try and get it within a minute or an hour. A lot of this technical analysis is done with charts. So you, you put up that chart of the stock and you start pulling Bollinger Bands on it and looking at trend lines and you try and find patterns such as head and shoulders patterns or flags and pennants and looking for a rounding bottom to see a change in the momentum for the stock. But the reality is that it's very hard to do that when you compress the time frame for people looking on a yearly, maybe a yearly basis down to the minute. Okay, so maybe when you're analyzing a stock for the long term and you're looking at it, what's it gonna do in a year, those patterns can really play out well. It's a lot more difficult to be accurate on the minute or the hour. So that's a big thing right there. Also think about the additional taxes that you'll have to pay in the end if you are making all of your profits through day trading. So what I'm speaking about here, if you do a long-term capital gain stock sale, you'll pay maybe 15% capital gains tax on that. That's when you hold a stock for a year or more. Day trades, you're only holding the stock for a day or less, you're gonna get taxed maybe at 15% as a short-term capital gain. So that could be a difference of 5% right there that you have to pay in additional taxes. That's a lot of extra money that you have to pay out for this. On top of that, you have to look at some of the requirements. A lot of the people that do day trading, they do it in margin accounts where they, they're basically borrowing money to trade. Now the SEC actually requires, if you're doing day trading, you have to have a $25,000 balance in your account 
to cover the day trading margin right there. So that's another drawback is that you'd have to have additional capital for that. So let's look at some of the things that happens when you're day trading, right? If you're going on the hour, the minute, what happens if there's a news announcement? What happens if the CEO releases information? What happens if another company releases an accounting fraud that's occurring or a new product or maybe there's a, a natural disaster that affects the stock price or maybe there's just a change in the general marketplace and that stock becomes unfavored or favored in a given scenario that goes against your trade. You have no control over that and it's gonna really hit you because you are locked into those trades for very short periods of time. You are also trying to buy, it's very important the spread when you are day trading between the high and the low on the stock price. You have to put in limit orders and, and put in stop losses so that you can maintain a spread and hopefully gain a profit on that. The problem is that, you know, if, you're, if you put in a market order, the transaction that you get might not be at the price that you wanted and then you're gonna make even less money on top of that. So there's a lot of things here with the, the cons that are going on on this. And now let's take a look at what do, what do some of the big name investors say about this, right? So if you look at William J. O'Neill, he's the author of How to Make Money in Stocks. He basically says the one type of investing he discourages is day trading where you buy or sell the same security in a given day to make your profits. I mean, he clearly doesn't think it's a good idea there. Jim Cramer, the TV personality and host of a major news show about business, as well as a writer of several books and former hedge fund manager, he says, you know, a lot of people got into this craze in the 1990s with day trading. They thought it was such a great idea and they got wiped out and he doesn't really promote day trading for your average retail investor, right? So that's another big name. What about the Oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett, the owner of the Berkshire Hathaway. He created Berkshire Hathaway, this great company, and how does he invest? Does he invest by day trading? Is he making all his money? I mean, he made a whole town of, of people, millionaires in Omaha, just because of you know, his investing strategies. He was a protege of Benjamin Graham, the guy that came up with value investing, right? So he says, you should be buying stocks over the long haul, over a long period of time. Don't put all your money in at once. Buy over time and lower your average cost per share for the stock. That's what he says for retail investors. What did he do? Well, in practice, he did the same thing. He was not day trading, for example, Coca-Cola stock. He purchased Coca-Cola stock in 1988. How many of you were even alive in 1988? That was a long time ago. He has held that stock to today and that company has made over $20 billion in profits for Warren Buffett and his company, Berkshire Hathaway. So right there, you can see that these professional investors are not doing this day trading kind of, kind of style here. And there are a lot of videos, and this is something you have to be aware of. There's a lot of these videos or salesmen that are trying to sell a course where you spend thousands of dollars to try and learn how to actively day trade and, oh, you can make a million dollars real in a, in a year by day trading thousands of dollars a day. When the reality is those people are not making their money from day trading, they're making their money from selling you a course that is also known as snake oil. So don't be suckered into that, right? A lot of this, this day trading hype is just about the market being up right now. With day trading, you have to have a market that is going up. If the market is going sideways or on a downturn into a bear market, it is a lot harder to make money in day trading. You require volatility. Another thing with this, so if the market's going sideways, there's no volatility. Volatility is also higher in stocks that are crummy companies, right? If it's a crummy company, the stock could be way up or way down on a day. If it's a strong company that's been around for a while and has proven itself and is doing well, it's usually not gonna fluctuate as much. So you're purposely going into companies that are not by design good companies. If you were investing for the long term, you are trying to find a company that has a potential for a lot of positive cash flows that could give you some of their earnings. You're purchasing a share of that company, of a, of a company that's trying to generate revenue and earnings for you. You care about the company. You can do the same technical analysis that you would do on day trading and now going into the alternatives, you do the same analysis that you would do on a day trading stock. You look at the fundamentals of the company. You can purchase that company for the long haul. That is what most retail investors should be doing and the best way to increase your wealth over the long run. It is not in day trading. 
So one other thing with this is that an alternative to day trading, you could do the individual stock or you can also buy an index fund, a low cost index fund or an ETF. If you wanna be, if you're interested in a particular sector, you can buy an ETF just for that sector and you can put your money really into a passive fund and you can still do better than these day traders. A lot of the studies also show that day traders usually end up making, even the ones that make a profit, make 5% or so less than the index that they're going up against if they're going up against the S&P 500 or the, the Russell 3000. So the thing is, why do all of the extra work? That's a lot of time, effort, experience, education that you have to put into day trading when you can just passively invest and you're more likely to make more money than if you had day traded in the beginning. Okay, so there's a lot of cons on this. You can see that. But what are the pros? Well, there's one huge pro that came out recently. You have companies like Robinhood and Charles Schwab that came out and they basically eliminated the cost to do transactions on trades. So there's no commission anymore on trades. It used to be between $4 and $15 to just buy or sell a stock. That is eliminated. So that's huge for day traders that used to really eat into their profits. So that's one good thing. But what's what else? What other positives are there? I don't know, maybe you can come up with some, but more importantly, let's, let's see how you can change this into investing for the long term and do sound investing so that you can actually increase your wealth over time. Don't get caught up in the gambling and the aspect that I know there's all these bells and whistles and this fireworks going on around day trading and it sounds so cool, but you know what? Investing sometimes it's, it's boring and it's done over the long haul. There are aspects of that that are exciting. You can speculate with a portion of your portfolio but overall, you should not be just trying to day trade and trying to make a living doing day trading because you are going to get burnt as over 80% of the people that have done this in the past have been burnt in the past. So with that, I think that gives a nice round view of all the different effects of day trading and you know, kind of the stance on it with a lot of the people that are out there. So I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Stay tuned. I'll be putting up some other videos about some interesting topics in the future. Thank you.